what is going on YouTube how are you guys we are back today for somewhat of what you would call maybe an emergency session um, so we've had some breaking comic book news um, many of you who are watching this video have probably already heard that's why you're here that's all right we'd love to have you here but before I begin if you guys enjoy this video if you guys enjoy comic book news reactions which we're gonna be getting back into as the TV seasons are getting ready to wind back up please leave a like leave a comment show this video to your friends and even if you want to see more consider becoming a subscriber but that is my plug friends so let's get into this today we had the official news that we got the official official first look at Ruby Rose as Batwoman. I'll put that picture up here on the screen. And guys, I gotta tell you, my first reaction to this, I love it. It is, it is amazing. It is, um, it's everything I hoped it would be, honestly, because it, it, it fits with the CW theme. It's got a new feel to it, so it's not like they, you know, are just trying to make a... a copy a suit, you know, that already exists, um, no, they gave it its totally own original thing, and I love it, but, uh, so let's start breaking this down a little bit, um, on like, the fabric and then the armor kind of look we got going on here, so, like, if you see, um, the breastplate looks like to be armor, uh, under the armpit seems to be some sort of, like, leather Kevlar material, I'm assuming that's gonna have, like, kind of the same rules that, like, uh, Oliver's Green Arrow suit does, or, uh, you know, Barry's old suits that had, you know, like the leather padding right there, you know, uh, and I'm assuming that goes into Batman lore as well, having the extra armoring around the chest, um, around the chest, because, uh, if many of you don't, if many of you who don't know, the reason that Batman had the yellow symbol around his bat symbol for many years was because he wanted guys to shoot at that he made it look like a target so they'd be more drawn to shoot to that because he had that more heavily reinforced because that's where his heart was so I kind of like that it seems like they kind of tried to go after that um, and then the belt I like that it's uh, it's not just like a leather pouch belt um, the one thing I, I'm wondering is if, if it's gonna be worn at that kind of uh, tilted slanted angle I don't know. It might just be how it was sitting for the pictures. You know, I know a lot of people are going to try and nitpick this. But even if it was something like that, I kind of like it. And, you know, another thing, guys, especially with Batwoman coming to be a pilot series on the CW next year, which if you guys didn't know, that is the plan for Ruby Rose. The crossover is meant to be kind of the audition for Batwoman to join the roster of uh, CW shows. Um, and so, I, honestly, you guys gotta, with this costume, we've got to kind of, uh, I think it looks amazing to begin with, but, you know, if you're somebody out there who maybe doesn't like it so much, bear with it, you know, because, uh, you know, just like Barry's first Flash suit, you know, they tweaked it throughout the season, like Oliver's first suit got tweaked and upgraded, you know, like Stephen Mel will tell the story about his pants, where, um, you know, he goes, they tried to make it all leather at first, and I was like, we need some stretch panels in these, and they're like, nah, he goes, I'm gonna rip them, we need to put stretch panels in, nah, they're fine, and he crouches and splits them open, and he goes, yeah, they need stretch panels. So, you know, things like that happen once you get into filming, upgrades, you know, tweaks. So, you know, bear with that, you know, but I think they really, they, I, I think they have a lot of those problems thought through, and I think that shows on this suit compared to others, other characters, uh, fursuits. Um, like, I kind of like how, um, it, it seems like along with, uh, Barry Allen's, uh, season five suit, it seems like all the suits are kind of moving to a more fabric angle. Um, to give that kind of more comic look, but I also like how it is still a textured fabric, kind of like Supergirl's, um, which as she is a character due for an upgrade, if you ask me. I don't know, I'm 50-50 on that. Um, but no, so let's keep moving on this. So the belt, I like it, you know, we'll see if that angle, you know, how it sits uh, seems to be the same. I kind of like that, uh, you know, it, it shows that it's tactical because it's got that padding and extra armor around the nerve clusters and the hips and, you know, kind of provides that um, belt protection um, around the hip area. Um, also, I kind of noticed we get a little peek of the guards, uh, her uh, uh, van bracers, bracers, whatever you prefer to call them. Um, uh, we don't see the classic three points on them, 
but um, honestly it looks like it's almost like a dark worn out black and red color a little bit um, that's exciting because you know it's really hard um, it's really hard to make you know like a lot of people's complaints about the season 5 flash suit is that it doesn't have the golden boots or the golden gloves well you know that's really hard to make translate on screen and look good but um, I think they found a well a healthy medium here uh, medium here and I think that could translate over to flash really well too you know kind of do a worn out more metallic golden you know boots and glove you know I, I, I think that idea could get there which you know we don't see too much of the boots in this picture but um, it almost looks like there is a tint of red to them or at least a red outline on the boots which um, I, I think will work really well. I, I hope it's not, and this is just me, but I hope it doesn't have heels because that's that's such a that's such a stupid thing in female costumer costumery costumery. Uh, it's such a stupid thing in female costumes that have shown up over the years. Like Black Widow has high heels half the time in the MCU. I, you know, and props, you know, if you feel you can run a fight in those, awesome, you know, do you if that's what you want. But I just, I think for, you know, female characters like Batwoman and Batgirl and, you know, Killer Frost and Black Canary, they don't need high heels. You know, they just give them some good boots, you know what I mean? Like, Canary's new comic look is a, you know, a, uh, you know, a rugged jacket and some, sh and some, uh, and <laughs> um, as people so affectionately call them, shit kicker boots. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think that's all they really need. And I, I do kind of like the look of them. They, they're meaty. They look tactical. You know, and I like how the suit, it maintains almost a... Uh, I don't know. It looks like they took kind of the some of the technology of Nolan and mixed it with kind of some of the fabric texture of Ben Affleck's suit, which I think is, I, I think is amazing, um, in my opinion. But, um, otherwise, guys, um, I like, uh, the cowl mainly was the first thing that stood out to me is how that just is. I mean, it's a mirror image of the comics, and I love that. It's a mirror image. It looks, and pretty much it shows all the red hair, you know, I mean, I don't know if that's going to be two separate pieces, but I don't think it should be. Just make that the top of the cowl, like in the comics. Um, and it, I love that they're actually going with the red hair. And, you know, I know a lot of people when Ruby Rose was cast, they were worried about the comic accuracy of this. But, I think, honestly, in my opinion, they have found the best medium between CW, Nolan, Affleck, and real-world technologies. Which I think is the perfect medium they always need to follow. But, um, yeah, I love the hair. You know, obviously, I had, and, um, evidently, um, uh, as, uh, was pointed out to me, um, by, uh, set photos and some information that leaked, Ruby Rose was in Vancouver a little bit ago for a day so if you guys are wondering this is Ruby Rose she flew up just to do this picture which I'm sorry if that doesn't show commitment to the character I don't know what else will um, because I know a lot of people were worried when Ruby Rose was cast as Batwoman that a she's not gonna work a she won't have the commitment or B she you know she, she doesn't fit you know there were so many excuses as to why Ruby Rose would not work. And I'm sorry, but A, with this costume, B, with the fact that she flew up to LA just for a day to take this picture. But you know, and a lot of people were worried that, you know, she just wouldn't work. But honestly, I think uh, with this costume and the fact that she flew up just for a day to do this picture for everybody, um, I think that shows that she will work. And so, you know, guys, kind of on closing notes, you know, I think this costume is perfect. I'm excited to see if it gets tweaked or evolved as we get going. And I think, honestly, in the end, it was an awesome idea for the CW to kind of get ahead of things, put out an official picture, because, you know, as you guys know, crossover filming will begin very shortly here. You know, Stephen Mel's already been posting a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff of him getting fitted for a mask and he's in some new costume, which we can do a video talking about that if you guys would like. Um... But, you know, with that all starting, I think it was a very good idea to avoid a controversy slash conflict um, that they had with the leaked photos that came out of the Flash Season 5 suit and every, a lot of the backlash and complaints that came out because of that. 
I think they kind of learned their lesson here and were like, okay, we're not going to let public public opinion get out of spin before we let them know what it actually looks like. So this time, instead of trying to keep it a secret and a surprise, we're just going to show you. That way, when you guys see it on set, it doesn't become a, oh, that looks like crap from a picture that's taken from 200 feet away you know, uh, on a low quality cell phone camera. Like, you know, I think they've made the smart decision. But otherwise, guys, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, I like that they kind of did a uh, armor with fabric kind of design that I, echoes back, I think, even to Arrow and Flash's first suits. I love the fact that they they went for comic accuracy with a uh, precision. You know, um, I follow Sci-Fi Props on Facebook um, along with Ken Harwell. Um, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, um, and you know, he had kind of teased that they were working on something new and that Ruby Rose got announced, and today, following this news, you know, Sci-Fi Props put out a post saying, you know, this is a dream come true for them, they always wanted to work on props and, and things for the Bat family slash Bativers. So guys, just know that going into this, that there are people who are just like you, who this is their dream, this is their passion, and they're not going to let you guys down. So let's just have a little faith, you know, let's get excited for the new seasons. Eventually the crossover is going to be here, Elseworlds, it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of that, because if you guys haven't heard, the Monitor has been confirmed, you know, Superman and Lois Lane are coming back, you know, Superman's going to feature in three out of, or two out of the three crossover episodes, if I heard correctly. Uh, that I, I I think this is gonna be an amazing story, guys. So let's get excited. Let's get pumped. Um, you know, videos are gonna be coming back. Flash is coming back tonight. So uh, I'm gonna try and either do a reaction tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, so guys, please be sure to check that out. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you stuck around in the end, thank you so much. Um, Please, friends, leave a like, you know, uh, let me know your comments, your thoughts below. Um, and if you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see our reactions coming up, and more, you want to hear more discussion on news that comes out, consider becoming a subscriber. We'd love to have you be part of the family. And guys, if you are first hearing about this, please be sure to check out the link below for our Patreon. You know, um, we've been doing this as a nonprofit charity for a while, um, including our community outreach, our fan films, our reactions. And, you know, guys, that gets hard to fund. That gets hard because we've got people who want to get involved, but uh, they can't afford to. Um, and we can't afford to, you know, just keep making costumes for free. So, you know, guys, honestly, if you guys could become part of that Patreon family, with that, you know, you guys can suggest uh, reactions, discussion topics, um, fan films you'd want to see done. So, guys, please consider checking that. Please consider checking that out. But, but, but I can't talk today. I've been. That's a sign that I've been talking too long. I need to end this. All right, guys. So, thank you for checking out the Silver Screen Studios channel. Thank you for checking out this video. And otherwise, guys, stay safe. And have a great day.